got this Batman comic book that I drew a sketch on. And the guy who bought the sketch sent it to me and said, Hey, would you mind coloring this? I would like this to be colored. I'm not much of a colorist, frankly, but yeah, sure, why not? I got these uh, beautiful Copic. Again, Copic is the brand, all right? Copic is like, to me, it's like the Porsche of, uh, of, uh, ah, the Porsche of uh, art supplies. This marker fits in there somewhere. I can't figure out where. Anyway, I got one of these big boxes of markers. I've also got this extra addendum to my markers uh, in case I need more. They're not very organized, uh, but you know, what can you do? So these Copic markers are very important uh, for people who want to kind of color commissions or just do, you know, color art with uh, markers. These I think are the best you can get. Um, one of these, I think there are four versions of this set. Okay, so, um, uh, yeah, let me think here. Okay, yeah, so there are four of these, and if you have, if you buy all four of these supersets, you're going to have uh, uh, every single color of Copic markers. I only bought one of them. I chose the one that I wanted the most because uh, it had a lot of flesh tones in it. Um, I think this runs about $300, $350. Um, so if you buy all four, I mean, you're looking at a heavy investment, you know, so um, they're, they're for professionals, really, I would think, <laughs> unless you're a very wealthy hobbyist. Uh, you can buy them individually too, and they, I think they run about six or seven dollars a piece. Um, so we're going to use these on this, and we're going to see what happens. I guess I'll start with blue. Nice little purpley blue kind of background. It just seems like the obvious thing. We could get tricky and we could try to, you know, do a a green or a, an orange kind of Batman color theme, but uh, I don't feel like taking a risk on this Gus Commission. <laughs> like I said, I'm not a very good colorist. I mean, I, you know, I'm adequate, um, but uh, I'm not especially skilled in color theory. And, uh, you know, I'm learning just like anyone else. I'm, I'm a student. But these Copic markers really make it simple. Um, the key thing to me, uh, you know, is to choose a color palette and kind of um, continue with it. Um, if, if you're going to choose this shade of blue, this kind of lilac that I've chosen, I'm going to use it on the background. But I'm also going to work it into um, the main figure, which is good because, of course, Batman... Uh, is already kind of blue so you start with a light shade and then um, you just sort of add darks and then other highlights um, yeah I you know it's, it's one of these things where I would I would actually like to take uh, lessons from um, a, a really skilled color uh, colorist like Moose Bauman and and just see what goes through his head I mean these people who think about color theory all day long to me are just uh, you know amazing uh, I've I don't paint um, I mean, I have, uh, but I, I don't really paint um, uh, at home uh, as a hobby because uh, when I'm <laughs> when I'm doing art, I'm doing art because I'm you know I'm I'm rushing to get something done. I'm always working on deadlines. I'm always working on a project, and uh, you know there's not a lot of time for extra things, unfortunately. Uh, all right, so we're doing some skin tones here. I I love to. Um, uh, work, you know, pinks and purples uh, in under the flesh uh, to just show blood flow, um, you know, on skin tone. I think um, Chris Chuckery kind of taught me that on Flash Iron Heights. He would, you know, most of the colors I'd worked with up until then uh, would kind of just do flat flesh tones, uh, but you could see blood under the skin when Chris Chuckery was coloring. Uh, the cheeks were flushed a little bit. There was uh, a real sense of... Um, uh, just fleshiness about the way he he colored um let's, this is i mean the thing about this batman is also it's fun to draw this original gray and blue uh batman with the little oval signal people still like that i mean yeah i, I guess i prefer the you know the scary black uh leathery kind of batman but uh this uh just feels more kind of super friends to me um and there it is it's all finished i hope you dig it 